हेलो स्टूडेंट्स वेलकम टू शोर ऑफ सर क्लासेस एंड दिस क्वेश्चन इज अबाउट मेलेरिया मेलेरिया दैट इज कॉज्ड बाय प्लाज्मोडियम स्पीसीज दैट इज कॉज्ड बाय प्लाज्मोडियम स्पीसीज नाउ व्हिच इज अ पैरासाइट दैट हैविंग अ कॉम्प्लेक्स लाइफ साइकिल दैट हैविंग अ कॉम्प्लेक्स लाइफ साइकिल द फ्यूजन ऑफ बिटवीन मेल एंड फीमेल गैमेटोसाइट्स ऑफ प्लाज्मोडियम हैपेंस इनसाइड which of this following now let me tell you one thing that now let me tell you one thing that this mosquito midgut and mosquito salivary glands these are the main two key entry and exit point entry and exit point that are the key main entry and exit point for pathogens like this plasmodium or like the dengue but this mosquito midgut that accepts challenging environment challenging environment for the survival and development of this plasmodium or the pathogen for survival and development development so here this answer will be mosquito midgut that is the main that is the we have asked the fusion between this gametocytes and happens inside this mosquito midgut that will be the correct answer mosquito midgut now moving to the next question and the question is about aromatase inhibitor this is aromatase inhibitor that are often prescribed for post menopausal women they are for post menopausal women to treat estrogen receptor positive breast cancer patient for estrogen receptor positive breast cancer patient because this class of drugs which of the following now first and option that is reduce prostaglandin biosynthesis second is reduce the level of estradiol biosynthesis third one is inhibit conversion of testosterone to dihydrotestosterone and the third sorry the last one is the non toxic in post menopausal women so now let me tell you that the aromatase inhibitor aromatase inhibitor what does they do inhibitor they inhibit the stimulation of aromatase they inhibit the stimulation of or suppressing the aromatase enzyme it is aromatase enzyme so we use aromatase inhibitor for stimulation suppression or inhibition for aromatase enzyme now now following the menopause menopause that what did it do that this aromatase this aromatase these what does it do these aromatase are responsible for are responsible for circulating estrogen responsible for circulating estrogen so for reducing the level of estradiol or estrogen for reducing the level of estradiol we use this aromatase inhibitor so here the answer will be option b that is 
reduce the level of estradiol biosynthesis that will be the correct answer okay so now moving to the next question so this question is about now the covalent modification that is performed by the kinases which regulate protein in signaling pathway so kinases that regulates protein in signaling pathway and that is which of the following and the answer is phosphorylation this is the correct answer that is phosphorylation why phosphorylation i'm telling you because after translation that is we also called post translation translation and after translation there is modification of protein that we call post translational modification fication so this post translation modification of protein that is an amino acid residue an amino acid residue that is phosphorylated by a protein kinase protein kinase kinase that phosphorylated phospho i can also write phosphorylation that the process phosphorylation this amino acid that is phosphorylated by the protein kinase to the addition of a phosphate group a phosphate group phosphate group a phosphate group into a amino acid this is what they make and this phosphorylation is the term that activates activates that deactivates or modifies deactivates and mainly modifies so here the answer will be phosphorylation that is in signaling pathway regulates protein so option d will be the correct answer for this question thank you for watching this video